let's talk toxic family members in Cameroon, Africa. Family is everything, and to me, family is everything. Don't get me wrong. Family is everything. I can do anything for my family. I love my family. But what do you do when some family members are not at their best? If there's something that I've discovered that is really common is how toxic some of our African families are. And we've grown up in that kind of way that we feel like all that is normal. But mm -mm, I'm here to tell you that some of those behaviors, some of those patterns are actually not normal. Those are toxic family traits. And we should try, like, okay, let me not say we, I'm not here to advise anybody, but, but I have decided to try not to apply those things in my own family because, yes, there are certain things that I'm trying to unlearn. So if you'd like to see all those attributes that I think they are toxic when it comes to family, let's keep watching. <laughs> If you are a YouTuber eh, and you have never sat and you're talking and talking with so much passion and nothing records, you are blessed because guys, I finished doing my intro, I don't know, I might have pressed my watch by mistake, every single thing I was saying was not going and I'm so mad because I gave almost like four points, I was so passionate, now I'm going back to square one. It's annoying, but <laughs> that's, that, that's what happens. It comes to the job. So now I'll be constantly looking to monitor to ensure that everything is recording. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna, and I am a Cameroonian content creator. I'm based in Douala, Cameroon. You're highly welcome to my space. So if you're here because you like sit-down videos where people give their opinions on different topics, this is a place for you. I talk a lot about what I think about different subjects, so maybe you'd enjoy that. Something like this video today. If you also just like videos about family, family videos, family vlogs, and things like that, I also do that. I do restaurant reviews. I do a lot on this channel, so you just want to consider clicking on that subscribe button because you'll find at least one thing you really like here. That said, guys, let's go straight into the video. Like I said today, today we're going to be talking about family toxic traits. Just basically those things that are toxic that family members do okay and the very first one is comparing this one is something that is so old like ah, this is something that i tr i'm trying so hard to not do we have it little scale huge scale middle scale like people compare their children in different ways why can't you be as quiet as this one why can't you be as hardworking as this one why can't you be as intelligent as this one that is it and growing up that's something that our parents did a lot they used to compare us with other people a lot and i feel like it wasn't from a bad place they didn't know what they were doing so i truly do not blame our parents for whatever happened okay but they will compare you to this cousin compare it to your friend compare it to your brothers compare it to your sisters and i feel like it's really really a bad practice because that can just breed enmity hate for no reason it can also affect your child's self-esteem because they'll be feeling like oh i'm no good my parents don't love me they love this cousin of mine or they love my sibling more than me like just things like that and then they start hating being jealous for no reason so that's something that it's a very toxic family trait and next one is making decisions for others okay we have some family members it could be parents it could be elder brothers elder sisters even junior sisters who have big heart <laughs> and junior brothers who have big heart want to make decisions for other family members i believe that you can make decisions only for people when they're children when they're under age when they don't know any better but if you have an adult you can only advise them it is such a toxic trait when you see mothers fathers sisters trying to control full-blown adults you see some Somebody wants to do this thing their parents are mad oh why did you not tell me i'm the one that's supposed to tell you what to do i'm the one who's supposed to show you what to do why do you not why do not they want to make decisions about who you marry where you work how much you make like everything and it even goes as far to the part where the parents will go ahead to threaten the children if you don't do this thing i will not give you this i'll take off your name from from my will i will do this one i will disown you if you do this one like it is toxic if you are a parent or a family member a brother sister whatever and you give threats like that you're trying to make decisions so people you are toxic you want to stop it because it's so bad like i'm all about telling people my opinion if you want to do this thing and i feel like this thing is a bad idea i'm just going to tell you for me oh, this thing is bad but we are all adults you can go ahead and do what you like but for me i am not going to do this it's criticize your every move see we have some family members saying eh? it's almost like you cannot do any right oh can i have painted a house that you have put 
over here. Oh, you're gonna do this thing, but you that They criticize every single thing you do to them. It's almost like you're not enough. They are constantly telling you the one million things that you would have done differently, the one million ways that you would have done this thing that would have been better than what you have actually done. They are criticizing. I'm not saying people should not criticize you or give you with their opinion on things, but I'm just saying there's a way that you make you say certain things that makes people to feel better. Constructive criticism. That's what I'm saying. That is. <laughs> constructive criticism like there's a way that people will criticize something that you're like okay at least you're giving me a suggestion or you're not criticizing just because you just feel like if i just say that this person has done good you have done well it's going to be me doing too much so I'm, i cannot do it like it is so annoying let's talk about negativity there are some family members right who cannot just see the good in anything as you are telling them this thing they're like ha what i will happen no like they are only telling you all the negative things that they are so negative they don't have any pinch of positivity in them each time you say you want to do this oh i'm planning to travel abroad oh ha you don't say we for the family we'll not be ever win we'll not be ever travel abroad you don't say this 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 they start telling you all the bad stories that they have heard they start telling you you want to start a business ha where will you have customers from will people like to buy from you like that will you be able to convince these people will you like they are just negative they don't have any positive thing to tell you when you're starting something when you're doing something they're all about the negative but wait this particular one as negative as they are just try to do that thing and succeed don't start telling everybody oh i was the one i'm the one that encouraged her when she started hey i was the one that was telling her to go ahead push forward because i knew that she was going to make it <laughs> lies all lies <laughs> so yes guys that is it the negativity see i have a short story about my sister before she traveled abroad eh, she had it she felt it she tried so many times to travel but it was not working and we were so negative we were one of those negative people yes when i so when i'm talking push not feel that i'm talking and i'm like oh no i'm not like that mm -mm. Well, one of those negative people so she was trying and trying and the thing was failing so as the more she tried and the things were failing that's how we got more negative she finally wanted to travel she did everything she was doing her process she kept us in the dark she did her things did her things did her things when it was almost at the end that's when she told us and we're like why didn't you tell us and she was like hmm, you are too negative i can remember there was a time that she had already shouted at me and she was like kenna you're too negative see stop it if i'm talking about my thing and you don't have anything positive to say just zip it don't go around telling me all the negative things or telling me that it's not going to happen and things like that it breaks people it discourages people you see some family members are in the same spot for years upon years upon years it's not because of anything it's just because they are scared they are scared of all the negative things that their family members will be telling them just makes them to be completely scared they don't want to grow you now sit ah for our own family we know they ever grow for our own family things are not turning out well our own family were just stagnant it is probably because of how negative you are when any new idea is brought up something that you are not used to is brought up you are all you are always negative even things that you are used to you just believe like oh other people can do it but my own family member cannot do it be negative hmm. it can kill you oh my god the next one is you know those family members eh shift and come closer those family members that they don't check on you for nothing if they are calling you it's oh okay after greeting you okay um i'm just the cold now because uh, i want credit i'm just the cold now because my became sick i'm just the cold now because i get for pay transfer go up tomorrow i'm just the cold to that to <sighs> See, this one is so annoying. There are certain family members who are so selfish. They think only about themselves. They don't care about you like that. They only remember that you exist when they need something. And then they'll call you. They'll never have the courtesy to even build up to that. They start calling you when they need something. They'll just call when they need something. Oh, Kenna. I can remember. Kenna always has money. Let me call Kenna and ask her for 5000 Let me call Kenna and ask her for this support. Let me call Kenna and this. Let me call Kenna. It's so freaking annoying. I hate family members like that. What about just sit down and call me when there's nothing? Just call me to check on me. There are some who will be pumping money into their family members, constantly giving their family members, but those family members will not still remember them. They will not still call them. They will sit there and wait only when they need something. That's when they start checking on it. No, it doesn't work like that. You are thinking only about yourself. This person is just like a money treat to you. You remember only when you're going to have it. When you have it, you come back and you sit down. You cannot do something nice for them. Even if you're not doing something nice for them you cannot just check on them just to check on them that's horrible it's those family members that put you down or just make a mockery of the things that bring you joy let me give a good example my youtube okay i am used to being mocked and laughed at because of my youtube excuse me if it's something that brings me joy even if i'm not making money from it just support me okay just support me and that's why i love my family because no matter what they have never made a mockery of it my parents might not understand it sometimes but they have never made a mockery of it they see they see the difference with when i'm doing youtube from when i was not doing youtube i was really miserable i was just there so they see that this thing makes me happy whether it's making money or not whether it's it doesn't matter they're just like 
that thing makes Kenna happy. And as long as it makes Kenna happy, let's encourage her. Maybe it's going to make her more money. Maybe it's not. But let's just encourage her. That's something that makes her happy. They don't look at it like, oh, how how is that thing helping us or all that? So it's just like that. There are some people who outright laugh at me like, eh, eh. Ah, today not remove camera. Ah, that yeah, crazy people think like you understand. So it's just something like that. P those family members whom they see that you love this thing and then they are mocking at you for it. They mock at you. Oh, why are you doing this thing? It doesn't make sense. I am one of those people who believes in respecting what everybody enjoys. I may not get it. I'll tell you outright. Oh, this is a thing that I do know. I don't get it. But laughing at you, mocking at you because of something you love, because you're doing something you love, it's just a no-no. That is completely toxic. Is Those next? family members who are never wrong, there are some people, eh? go up, calm down, they're never wrong, they will not tell you sorry, they are never wrong. Even when they dis discover that they are completely wrong, they didn't have to do that, they didn't have to act that way, they still stick to their guns and they're like, I am not wrong, I am not wrong. If you like, burn down the whole of Cameroon, I said I am not wrong and I am not wrong. <laughs> Um, I'll say that our parents growing up were kind of like that because they brought us up feeling like adults don't do wrong. Anything your parents say is correct. Do not question your parents. Everything your parents do, say, everything they do is not wrong. Parents are dread just like mini gods. After God were your parents. So you have to listen to everything they say. You have to respect everything they say. Even if it doesn't make sense. Even if you know that this thing that they're asking you to do is not the right thing. You just have to do it because parents are never wrong. That is also why you see a lot of people who tell you that I have never had my parents tell me they're sorry i have never heard my parents apologize for something right but i feel like our parents even though some of them are old now and some of them are still trying to say sorry to their kids some of them are now learning that i have to say sorry to my kids which is a nice thing okay another toxic trait for family members is for parents those parents who feel that their only duty is to provide they don't care about your mental health yeah any other well-being no or to provide you your food yeah they send you to school your basic necessities right but they don't think that it's necessary to take care of your mental state and things like that for me i feel like that is toxic i know that our parents did not grow up knowing anything about mental health and all that right we were brought up in the tough tough love era but <laughs> right now i'm discovering that being a parent is not all about oh i pay their school fees oh i pay for everything that they need oh i give them food i buy them clothes and that's my duty that's the way a lot of our parents back in the day did they knew they were the best parents on earth because the second they give you food they do all these things they're like okay that's my duty i've done my duty as a good parent you can go now to the world and learn the rest from the world <laughs> But no, I feel like that's toxic and it's something that we need to stop normalizing. Being a parent is not all about that. It's a lot more. Privacy. You know those family members who do not respect your privacy, who feel like, who are you to have privacy? Are you mad? Are you mad? You are my brother. So I can barge into you anytime. I can come to your house anytime. I can do what I like anytime. I can, like, they don't, they don't respect your privacy. For me, that is completely toxic. You need to learn about boundaries and i feel like i don't know whether it's something that my parents taught me or i don't know i don't know where that came from but i feel it should be what they taught us or the things that they said to us that have just stayed in our, our heads right there's something called boundaries and you need to respect people's privacy i cannot get up now and i just go to my brother's house because oh no it's my brother i'm going to my brother's house no i cannot get up and go to my parents house it's my brother's it's my parents house so do i need to call to go to my mother's house or my father's house i'm just going there no for me those are things that you have to respect their privacy oh yes it's your mother it's your father it's your brother it's your sister but they also have lives they also have things that they are doing how would you feel if somebody just barged into you like that how would you feel that's how i always look at it there's this thing a lot of people like your siblings your family members will just come come to your house go into your bedroom and things like that that's something that i don't know how to do right especially like just enter into people's bedroom okay and i'm telling you growing up that's what i'm saying i don't know where we learned that from growing up my mom's room was like always open people will enter there anyhow you know i go to some houses i see the mother's room no man no the entire side yeah this is like it's like the secret place nobody my mom's room was not like that though my cousins will get in will get in will go and sleep there just feel free in my mom's room but you see me guys i don't just get go into somebody's house and i feel comfortable to just go into their bedroom like no whether it's my brother whether it's my sister my parent like it's the only bedroom on this earth that i 
feel free entering in like that. It's my parents' bedroom. I don't just bump into people's bedrooms like that because I don't know. I just feel like this is your, it's your privacy. I should not invade your privacy. An example, right? On Monday, my brother came here. He had to work on my laptop and I was not there. So he meets the new nanny. She did not know him. And then she was like, I don't know. You have to come call my madam. He called me and we talked. My brother, if it was another brother, right? He knows my room. He has entered there before. He could still just be like, okay, let me go and get it. He asked me where the laptop was. I told him. He could just be like, oh, let me go in and get it. But he was like, no. He asked the nanny to go and bring the laptop for him. It's just to show you how he, he's respecting my privacy. He could still be like, why should I be telling the nanny? This new person that has just come to my house, to, to my sister's house to go and take it when I am her brother. I can go and get it. You get So it's just little things like that. Respect people's privacy. Don't feel like because you're related to this person, you can just do anyhow and and get away with it like that's so so wrong you cannot do that and last but not least is the manipulators if you have a family member who's constantly manipulating you so that things should go their way they are constantly trying to guilt you to do things that to go their way it is oh, so toxic there are people who will be guilty you oh you want to move to your own house the person will guilt you until so you want to do this now because of this is it because of the, like mm -mm. Anybody that is manipulating you in any kind of way with your family member is a toxic family member. So, yes, guys, these are just 10 toxic traits that are very common in families. You see this everywhere. You see it every day. So, what are those traits? For all these ones that I said, what are the traits that are common in your family? Let me know. Let's talk more in the comment section. You guys know how this goes, right? Let's talk more in the comment section. And then also, do you want me to do like a part two of this video where I tell you how to deal with it or how I deal with some of these things? If you like to see that video, let me know and I'll, I'll obviously do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please do not forget to click on the subscribe. <laughs> Do not forget to click on the subscribe button before you go. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. And Kenna is going to see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.